23rd day of Tevet, corresponding to the 20th of January 2020. The Lighthouse live video feed Torah presentation dedicated to Elui Nishmat Deborah Feige Bat Shemuel, Ora Deborah Bat Shemuel, Rif, <laughs> Esther Rifka Bat Abraham, Monica Miriam Bat Fanny, Menachem Mendel Ben El Hanan, and Miriam Bat Abraham. Aleem Shalom. The iTorah.com sponsorship of today for the Shiduchim of Nehamadina Bat Hanabatia, Eliyahu Haim Ben Esther, Eliyahu Rafael Ben Farha, Rahel Fenina Bat Jenny, and Sarah Simha Bat Sofi. The Edmond J. Safra special breakfast and class of today, graciously sponsored Le'ilui Nishmat, Milton Somberg Ben Sarah, Alava Shalom, and as well as Le'ilui Nishmat, Yosef ben Atar ben Hasive. It is on that the words of Torah that will be heard in a few moments will bring an Ilui Neshama. Amen. No one can deny the mega magnificent Shabbat weekend and yesterday Torah dedication that we had with the presence of the chief rabbi Amar. That in a few hours the rabbi is heading back to Eres Israel, Yerushalayim, Ida Kodesh. The rabbi spoke several times in our synagogue throughout the Shabbat, Thursday in the rabbinical shiur, as well as yesterday in the Torah dedication. I'll tell you some of the highlights that he mentioned. Number one, this is for the guest speaker. We have a guest speaker coming up. Please bring some chairs. Thank you so much. Amen. The rabbi spoke about how a Yehudi cannot be frightened and worrying of what's going on around the world, especially in the level of government, impeachment, and other matters. And he brought the re'ayah from the perasha that we read this past Shabbat. If you remember, the perasha of Shabbat talks about the early stages of slavery in Egypt. Paro wants to create a plan that is going to annihilate and wipe out the Jewish nation on its entirety. And yet, what do we see? That from the same Paro, Batia, the daughter of the king, saves Moshe. Not only she saves Moshe, but Paro adopts Moshe as a son, and Paro literally trains Moshe Rabbeinu into the position of kingdom and into the position of leadership. The same way is applicable, the same way is applicable in our days. Every governmental official, every president, every king, every prime minister is a representative of Akadosh Baruch Hu. The rabbi brought, so to speak, a mashal, in a parable, imagine yourself in the game of chess. When you play chess, you have different pieces. You have the pawn, you have the king, you have the queen, you have the knight, you have the horse, you have the tower. I know the game of chess. But we know, and you have two teams, the black pieces and the white pieces, so to speak. Could be multicolored today but I'm only giving you a simple example. And the players must have in their mind to be able to see what the next player's move will be. In other words, if you're going to move the queen in an angle, so to speak, and then the knight of the other team is going to just have a, pre a free way, this is going to eat your queen. And you don't want to lose the queen in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the beginning of the game. So anytime you make a move, you have to be thoughtful. It's imagine yourself, and this is what the great rabbi said, imagine yourself if suddenly one of the pieces of the game starts talking and is saying, please don't move me. I want to be next to the king. I want to be next to the tower. What are we going to tell the piece? You're a piece of plastic. You're a piece of wood. You know, who, don't tell me. I, I am the brains of the game. Borei Olam says the same thing. 
says, you think that the presidents can change? You think that the prime minister can change the will of Akadosh Baruch Hu? They cannot. Because the piece of plastic. A hundred percent. Lev Melech Besarim Beyad Hashem. The heart of the kings, the heart of the ministers are in the hand of Akadosh Baruch Hu. So I think that the great rabbi's message was that a Jew should not despair of what's going on. Of course, we're not happy to what's going on. It gives us a, a certain level of uncertainty in our days. But guess what? The darkest moment of the night is right before sunrise. So we hope and pray to Borei Olam that whatever is happening around us, it's all part of Hashem's master plan. As the Pasuk says, in the name of Shalomo HaMelech, Utsu Etza Betufar, Davru Davar Velo Yakum, Ki Emmanuel. It says, the Goim, the enemies of Am Israel, can plan plans against us, can verbalize threats against us, but nothing will happen. Ki Emmanuel. And if Has Shalom, as the shalom, something happens is because there is a godly element that perhaps we don't understand. And I don't believe that we can ever understand. It's actually a pasuk in the perasha, Nesavim, that says to the end, and it's to the beginning rather. Anistarot, la Hashem elokeno, ve'anigdod lanu ulbanenu ad olam, la'asot et kol divrei ha-Torah hazot. All the hidden facts belong to Akadosh Baruch Hu. All the calculations, all the questions, why a good person suffers, why not a good person propers. I'm sure that we have these questions. But guess what? We have no answer. But we do have one answer. We have a mission. For us and our children to fulfill the ways of the Torah. That's the reason why on Shabbat night that many of you were present here, the great rabbi spoke about, excuse me? Okay, uh, they need a Torah reader for the extra minyan. Okay, the gentleman will go. Hazao Baruch, Tiskela Mizvot. Excellent, Baal Kore. Of course, doctor. The doctor will do it for you. Thank you so much. Hazao Baruch. Baruch Hashem. Thank you. Thank you. Baruch Hashem. Thank you. Hazao Baruch. The rabbi spoke on Shabbat night on the topic of education. The rabbi said that education is the key to survival of Am Israel. Without educating the next generation, without Torah classes, without enhanced Torah learning, the future of Am Israel cannot be guaranteed. Why do I use this word? He says very simple, because if you remember, when the Torah was about to be given, Mora Olam requested from Moshe Rabbeinu, who is going to guarantee that the Torah will continue? Moshe Rabbeinu made all kinds of offers. Abraham, Ishaq, and Yaakov, Moshe, Aharon, the Nevi'im, the Rishonim, Tanaim, Emoraim. Finally, Bore Olam says, every one of those, one day will come, and they're no longer among the living. Finally, Moshe Rabbeinu said the magic words, Banenu, Arevim, Ba'adenu. Our children are the guarantee of the future of Am Israel. So the rabbi reinforced the concept of educating the children with proper Torah education. Many times people send the kids to Jewish schools, but the only Jewish about it is the name. And hopefully the food, at least during school hours. This is the reality of life. And 20 years later, people say, Rabbi, how come? Which school did you send your child to? The rabbi said that many times people worry only about the academics, believing that because they have a high academic standard, automatically parnasa is guaranteed. I'm going to tell you something. 
You know how many college graduates are unemployed after putting $100,000 in debt to the parents? You. I don't want to turn you off. And education is important if it's required for your parnasa. Okay? And God forbid, we're not saying that the people should not have a career if they want to become an accountant or a doctor or pediatrician. But I think what the great rabbi was trying to say is don't pay attention only to the academic. Look for the environment. Look at the irat chamaim. Look at the emuna that the teachers are installing into the heart of the children. Why? Because if we do not prepare the children as they are starting to grow up, like somebody told me the other day, it was somebody was given was giving a dairy chocolate to a child on Shabbat afternoon, and I said to the person. I don't think you should give him dairy chocolate. Maybe he ate less than six hours ago. And the person said, what's the big deal? He's a child. You know what the halakha says? That the neshama of a child is more sensitive than the neshama of an adult. Because an adult has the sense of understanding, oh, I finished eating at one o'clock, so I can have dairy at seven o'clock. But a child who doesn't understand, if the adults does not guide the child, so how can the child be able to keep the neshama in a pure way? And this is the ruling, by the way, of Hakam Obadiah Yosef, Zecher Sadiq Livracha, and I believe he brings this down in several places, but one of the areas is Halachot Shemirat HaNefesh, the laws of spiritual well-being. That a child, because he's a child, it doesn't mean that you can feed him not kosher, or you cannot keep basar halab, or you can even tell a child, turn on the light, you're not obligated in chinuch. This kind of thinking, it's inappropriate, it's dangerous, and it's something that we need to avoid. This is something that Torah education is not negotiable. So after the rabbi gave such a beautiful speech, someone approached me and he said, Rabbi, what about the high cost of tuition? Tuition today is like a mortgage. I'll be honest with you. I don't disagree with you on that. Today, the cost of Jewish education is high. It's costly. And regretfully, it's not getting lower although there are many schools and many communities worldwide that they try to come with different plans and different strategies to somehow minimize the high cost of tuition. But I'd like to... Uh, something is burning. Plastic. Okay? Anyways. The Gemara in Masechet Besa. Let me say a beracha. Baruch atta Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam shehakol nihiyah b'tbaro. After we learn today that you should hold your food and drink on the right hand, I better hold it in the right hand. I'm a lefty. For me personally, I know you're watching. For me personally, it's not easy. Because my natural inclination is to do the left. I'm a lefty like you. Anyways, but I try as much I can. Now, if time allows, otherwise, Rabbi otherwise will be tomorrow morning. Where? The rabbi from uh, New Jersey? Beautiful. Rabbi Shalom Alechem, welcome back. We'd like to welcome Diane David Grossman from the Beta Vaad Sephardic Halakha Center out of Lakewood, New Jersey. The great rabbi and I go back many, many years. He's a partner in many projects related to Halakha, especially in the topic of financial matters, in the topic of 
loans, co-signing, credit card usage, living wills, halachic wills. And the rabbi told me that recently his bed din started to become heavily involved in the topic of Eben Ezer, in the topic of marriages. But regretfully, I believe that refers more into the divorce department that became a minhag in our days. But before I, uh, I welcome the rabbi to say a few words, rabbi, I'm talking about the high cost of tuition. Chief Rabbi Amar this Shabbat spoke about that there is a mandatory obligation for every family to make sure that the children get true bona fide Torah education because that is the only guaranteed survival of Am Israel. If we don't invest in our future today, how Am Israel will continue flourishing. So the next day, some people approach me to talk about the topic of tuition, which is a, a, a touchy subject. And Bore Olam, you know, Magdim Refua Lamaka. God always provides the solution, Mehila, the solution prior to the condition. The Gemara in Masechet Besa, correct? The second chapter begins, and with this, I'll give over the mic to the great rabbi. Kol mezonotav shela adam. Whatever the person will be making through the year, ketsuvim lo mirosh shana ad rosh shana are pre-established from one year to the other. Yani Shamaim already says, this is how much you are going to make. Does, what does that mean? There is a powerful lesson of emunah hidden in this message. What does that mean? That not for working more, you are going to make more. Many times a person justifies neglecting family time, neglecting praying with a minyan, neglecting learning Torah, and he says, no, I need to open up the store because if I don't open up the store at a certain time, my income will be affected. Has shalom that a Yehudi thinks like that. Obviously, I'm not telling you become the Hafez Haim, that you went to work an hour a day, you made your living for the day, let me close the store, and I come back tomorrow. This is how he used to do it, and many Sadiqim, how much they needed for the day. A uh, hundred rubles, the minute they made a hundred rubles, they closed the store till tomorrow. We're not in that level. But the Peleyo is right that a Yehudi must have a schedule. <coughs> Meaning to say, pray with a minyan. Obviously, you're a doctor, you may be exempt, you're saving people's life, you're a salar responder, etc. But the rest of us which are in the world, in the business world, or retired, tefillah, learning, going to work, and family time, that is also important. Not only that, Chutz, the Gemara says, but there are a few exceptions. Meaning to say, exception in certain misvot, that that expense is not part of your yearly income. Is the expenses for Shabbat, Yom Tov, Rosh Chodesh, and tuition. The only one written besides all of the misvot of the holidays and Shabbat is Talmud Torah, Rashi Tevot Tishrei, Talmud, Shabbat, Rosh Chodesh, Yom Tov. So what does that mean? Borei Olam says, you invest in me, I will invest in you. By giving the person abundant parnasa to be able to bring the children to a true Torah education. I repeat, there are many schools that have Jewish names, but there is not much Jewishness. Sure, they give you options. You can, play, you can pray shaharit with a minyan, or you can do yoga shaharit, or yoga. you can do yoga. There is such a thing now. Yoga, yoga. Yeah, has shalom. Exercising. You can do meditation shaharit. You can do multi-gender shaharit. Yeah, true. All of that is available. You can put it on the computer. No, no, you can. No, okay, relax. Okay? <laughs> you are too mahmir for me. Okay? Or sometimes you get a school kid's birthday invitation. Check the box. Kosher required or kosher style. Can you imagine these are the birthdays 
that your children are being invited to? They ask you, do you eat kosher? So I can order a pie of kosher pizza for you, and the rest, has shalom, kosher style means it sounds kosher, but the ingredients are not kosher, or is cooked on Shabbat, or is cooked by a goy, etc. So to summarize, don't, don't jeopardize your future and the future of Am Israel. And I'd like to finish with something that I heard many years back that don't complain to in front of your children about the high cost of tuition. Like we learned a week ago, don't complain to your wife and to your children at home when they ask you, how was Shabbat at the synagogue? And the husband gives a full shi'ur. The rabbi talked too much. The chazan thought that he was giving a concert. The kiddush wasn't that good. The gabai thought that today was in Torah. So a child is listening to all these comments. What does the child understand? Forget about it. Shul is boring. Has shalom. Parents don't realize how much power they have in influencing the children for good, but how easy is also, God forbid, to deliver a wrong or a negative <coughs> message. And an imperative thing that is required when it comes to children. Also giving an example and also encouraging and above anything else, praying. Praying for siata, dishmaya, praying for heavenly guidance that all the hinuch, all the, all the education that we're investing in our children should be powerful, should be meaningful, and should be their companion as they grow and they go through life. Because the Gemara calls this Girsa de Yankuta, where a child learns as a young child stays for the child for a very long time. I don't want to say the word forever, but I think that uh, we can afford to say uh, that word. Rabbi, I apologize for talking too much. So we're, we're going to do this. Let's make a deal. Okay? Speak five or six minutes on whatever you want to speak about, whatever you say is good. And tomorrow, Be'ezat Hashem, we'll, you'll give a shi'ur on Dine Mamonot. We'll try to gather a few questions from the Kahal. So I'll bring it to you. And then you will talk about all the matters that you come across interesting matters of financial disputes, financial uh, co-signing, for example, co-signing a mortgage, okay? Or co-signing for a credit card. I go to you and you say, Moshe, can I borrow your credit card to, to pay a bill from Brandsmart? Now, I pay you every month, not to worry. We think, you think that you're doing me a favor. Now there is a bit involved, correct? So Ba'ezat Hashem will save this type of questions for tomorrow, if you have a specific questions, approach me after the class, if not tomorrow, so we can ask the questions to the rabbi uh, anonymously. And rabbi, I apologize in advance again, but go ahead. Actually, keep this one closer to you, and this is for the virtual audience. Actually, it needs to be exposed. On the tie. On the tie. Nice tie, by the way, rabbi. You competing with me? Very good. Okay. Turn the mic to the rabbi. Okay, just a couple of thoughts on, uh, in regards to what the rabbi was talking about. Um, you know, about the people used to just, you know, make enough money for that one day, you know, for, for a few hours, and then as soon as they made it, they had enough money, they would close up shop. So I was talking recently to a uh, diamond merchant. And he, he said that in order for him to have parnasa, he, he needs to sell one stone a week. That makes it, that, that gives him parnasa. So he says that, we say in Birkat Amazon, Otano um, kulo betuvo bechen bechesed berachamim. So he says sometimes, what does that mean? HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us parnasa. Bechen, bechesed, berachamim. 
He says sometimes you come more, Monday morning, you come into the office, and he has an order from a, a kala, a khatan, he needs emergency, diamond. By Monday afternoon, he made his deal. He's good for the week. He says, that's b'chein. Sometimes quiet Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, you know, he finally, late Wednesday night after the office closes, he makes a deal, he closes his deal on the stone. That's b'chesed. And sometimes, you know, it takes... Thursday evening, Thursday, Friday morning, he's pushing, he's pushing, finally right before Shabbat. Berachamim. That's Berachamim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives, you, you need five minutes to make a deal. You zoche, you, you, you wake up in the morning, you make your deal, you learn Torah the whole day. All you need is five minutes. That doesn't take a long time to make a deal. But you got to work and work and, uh, you know, the Heshtadlut, we all have to do Heshtadlut according to what we you know, co according to our bitachon, but you know, like the rabbi mentioned, you know, people in in an hour, two hours could, you know, I come from Lakewood, New Jersey, there's, a, there's many people who are, who are learning Torah all morning, and they're learning Torah all afternoon, and they have a business that they run in, in Ben Astarim. Do you know what Ben Astarim means? Between the two Sidarim. And in two, three hours, that's all it takes. HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't need a lot of help. He, uh, Baruch Hashem, he can uh, provide. And um, I, with regards to tuition, the rabbi mentioned that uh, there's certain costs that are eno mina minyan. The, the Gemara says that uh, the hotzaot of Shabbat, whatever you spend on Shabbat, on Yom Tov, Rosh Chodesh, it has nothing to do with your parasa. It's not going to affect your parasa. And the same is the, 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 the teaching your Torah to your children. Also, Eina Min Haminyan, it doesn't, it doesn't affect. So, you know, there are, happens to be, it's, it's worthwhile if you, anybody has, you know, specific situations. Um, uh, there, uh, there, there are certain types of tuition, certain levels of the tuition that could be, net, could be given with Ma'asir. In other words, if the tuition is $16,000, you know, there's certain parts of it which, uh, which we discuss on an individual basis. If anybody wants, it's, it's, it's a very individualized question, but... But b'derech kalal tuition cannot be uh, given for maaser. And in the olden days, there was a difference between boys' tuition and girls' tuition. Can anybody guess which one was was able to be able to give maaser and which one could not come from maaser? The boys could come from maaser, or the girls could come from maaser. Which one? The girls could or can't? Can. Uh, yes, the, 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 the halacha with maaser is that any, anything that's an obligation on a person that a person has, l'mashal, example, you cannot use ma'ot uh, maaser, your maaser uh, monies, to purchase an etrog because you have an obligation to buy an etrog from your own money. Matanot uh, le'vionim. <laughs> Right, and, and also matanot um, le'evyonim is an obligation. So tuition is an obligation, like the rabbi mentioned, it's an obligation, v'limadetem levnechem, v'shinantam levanecha, there's an obligation to teach your, to your, your child Torah. Some people like to ask the school to help them with that obligation, and for that you have to, you have to pay the school. And it's uh, they're giving a, it should be a very high standard of, of education. The we we, the, we learn livanecha levanotecha. There's no obligation to lead, to teach Torah to the girls necessarily, and that's why in the olden days the girls' tuition could come from maaser. But today says Rabbi Feinstein in, in his uh, in his Sfarim that since there's a law that a girl uh, until a certain age must go to school. So if you don't send them to Jewish school, then she'll have to go to public school. And you have an obligation to ensure that your, your, your daughters go to the Jewish school, so therefore the, the tuition cannot come from Maaser. That being said, some of the tuition is representing others in the school that, that can't afford tuition, and there's, uh, there's, you know, there's the, the, it's the cost of education. It, on an individual level, there's certain parts, and many schools give a reduction. So it could be that the, 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 uh, the amount that's more than the reduction could come from Ma'asel. Those are parts of the tuition to make it easier. 
uh, just for example, to send the daughter to, uh, many people send their daughter to seminary in Israel when they get older, that could come from Maaseh because we, at that point in a person's life, you don't have the obligation to send them to seminary, believe it or not. It's not, uh, it's not, a, it's not, it's not a mitzvah, it's not mandatory. So therefore that could come, uh, parts of it, some, some, some parts represent your, the feeding of the, of the child and the housing of the child that cannot, it's a little bit complicated. But it's worth having a conversation as to if a person is having a hard time with tuition, there are p parts of it that could come from, from, from Maaseh. Yes? Yeah, that, that also, that could, uh, yeah, the, if grandfather doesn't have that obligation, so, so uh, you know, many so grandparents. Is if, if, the, if the father is not teaching in Torah, right. I mean, it's a, it's a primary obligation on the father. Right. It, it's not only if. It, only if the father of the child is not teaching the child Torah. But if right. the ch father teaches the, Torah, the grandfather. The primary is obligation is the, is the he's father. He's allowed to deduct it from Maaseh. If he will have the chiyuv to, to educate his grandson, so then that's a mandatory mitzvah. So the rabbi, I love what the rabbi said before that don't deduct from these short few words automatically the tuition can be taken up from Maaser. Some part of the tuition can, some part of the tuition cannot. So the rabbi gave English. the proper word. It's English is a whole different shiur. It's a whole different shiur. Right. But the question and the answer is tailored made to the person specific scenarios of Parnasa, family scenario, family dynamics, etc. Tomorrow, it will do the full version yes. of the class. If anybody wants to prepare any questions, come with any your questions. questions you have, come them ready and I'll put them in a piece of paper and we'll ask the great rabbi tomorrow. Baruch Adonai Le'Aholeah. Amen. 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 Amen